Okay, so uh, today you're going to do a free fall gizmo, um, just a little lab. I just want to give you a little um, introduction and then just a little bit more information and help you out with anything you're having trouble on. Until now, like yesterday's problems, we were dealing with acceleration due to gravity on Earth in free fall. Um, just some information, some terms you need to know. A projectile is anything in the air under the influence of gravity. That could be a baseball, football. Um, it could be a, you know, whatever, any, anything in the air. And then free fall is just whenever you hear free fall and objects in the air it doesn't mean anything about how it got in the air it could have been down a lot of different things could have happened but once it's in the air it's considered to be in free fall if you're only considering the force of gravity acceleration due to gravity being you know what we use as an average 10 meters per second squared uh, that is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Earth. Now, once again, it's around at 9.8, that 10 meters per second squared down. But on the moon, it's going to change because of um, because of the mass of the moon. And so we'll, we'll follow that a little bit closer in a future lesson and how that happens. And so the reality is, is we don't have free fall in reality. All our questions that we do mathematically in this unit, just assume we do. Um, we're going to include air resistance in the future. Air resistance, air has particles. You have oxygen, you have nitrogen, you have a lot of different things in the air that we that we breathe, and objects have to cut through that. And so since they've cut through that, the faster they travel, the more air resistance you have because you have more particles that you collide with. And so the surface area is going to be important when it really comes down to air resistance. Uh, another term that you should know about is a vacuum. Um, a vacuum is the term for just having no air resistance. So often in physics, we'll suck air out of an area, and so therefore it fall, objects can fall like it's in a, va a vacuum, and you can study the results. And you find out that everything falls at the same rate when you have no air particles in the way. But there's another place where you have a vacuum, uh, and that's going to be in space. So anytime you hear in space something happens, just assume no air particles, I the ideal situation uh, with no air resistance. But otherwise, uh, unless, unless I tell you in, with air resistance in reality what would happen, you're going to answer a question, any sort of question that everything's going to fall, it's going to hit the ground at the same time, assuming that, uh, that there's no air resistance in the ideal situation. you got to do that when you do uh, in, in any sort of science. You try to, have to cut things out of the way so you can study just one, maybe one variable. Okay, so that's ideal. Ideal is a perfect scenario. We're going we're gonna to study ideal situations a lot. Um, another thing that you're going to see in the future, you're going to see these force diagrams. And so there's the weight of the object, which is the force of the Earth pulling an object into the ground. And as you see these particles, more particles are hitting the object the faster you go. Um, you get more air resistance. And what really causes acceleration is the net force, the overall force of everything go acting on it. In, in if you had uh, if you had free fall, the only force you're taking into account is the weight of the object or the force of gravity acting on the object. But in reality, when air resistance kicks in, you get this net force. And one term you're going to see in the future, it's a, it's a couple, about 10 lessons from now or, or so, maybe even more, um, is net force. The net force is the overall force. If you put this up and down vector together, you, you can get the overall force. And terminal velocity is when, at some point in time, if you fall through the sky, you have so many air particles hitting you that you're not going to accelerate anymore. 